So I wanted to take a couple of minutes here and talk about mesh colors in Design X and Control X. Uh, I'm in Control X 2022 right now. And when I import one mesh, we all kind of have seen this before. Generally speaking, the first mesh that we import into any of the software comes out in this light blue color. If I continue to import other meshes, they're going to follow a pattern of colors where I get green and then yellow and then I think a pink color and a couple other ones after that. The question I got asked by a customer recently was, where do these colors come from? And is there anything I can do to change them? Um, because especially some of the later colors in this list, if I'm importing you know, 20 or 30 scans, uh, are kind of dark browns and purples and stuff that's really difficult and doesn't show up very well in reports. Um, so some of you probably know a little bit about how to change colors of a particular mesh inside of Control X and Design X. If I select something in the result, uh, result data group here and open up my properties tab on the right hand side. And if you can't find that, you can right click the lower toolbar there and bring back your properties. Um, if I have a mesh highlighted here, I can click on the material for it. Material is basically the color, um, but also we can do mesh specific, just that one mesh specific transparency, shininess, and a couple of other things. You'll see in here, this is the material dialogue that I'm in. This is the material list that we have. And you can see these colors uh, from this list are the ones that show up in the scans as I import them here. So the next scan that I import would be a pink color, like I mentioned, and red, and then orange, and so on and so forth. Um, if there's a color in here that you don't like, like for example, this black mesh, that would show up very, that would be very difficult to show up in a report. Um, we can delete that, or we can reassign that to be different colors from these groups here. And so what I wanted to show, just a, a real quick demonstration is, let's say I wanted all of my meshes to be a blue color, right? Uh, I didn't wanna have any of this stuff going on here. What I could do is just delete all of these meshes, uh, all of these materials, and honestly, if I deleted every single one of these guys, which is going to take me a couple of seconds. And I am left with just my one mesh here. Then if I save this to overwrite my preferences and save that material list in there, create a new file and then import a series of meshes. They will all come in in that standard blue color, right? So that is kind of how we customize some of the colors in there. And you can also create your own colors too. So if I want to add a new color in here and I want this to be dark green with a lighter green highlight, and I don't even know white for specular here, uh, with you know some amount of shininess, I can certainly change that and make my own color. So I hope this was interesting. I hope this is helpful and uh, look forward to finding the next interesting thing to talk about here.